Well, I'm Jeanette Rallett, and I am the Executive Director of the Kentucky Guild of Artists and Craftsmen here in Berea. And I'm Brittany, and I'm the assistant. Well, I'm originally from Laurel County, but I came to Eastern to school, and I've been here, oh gosh, going on 48 years. And I'm originally from Stanton, Kentucky, and went to school in Lexington, and now I've lived here for about two years. We had about a little less than 40 or 44 artists here in Berea, of course, Berea College. They decided, I guess they wanted an organization here, an art organization, so Lester Cross and a ceramicist from Louisville, Kentucky, got together with some other people and they had some discussions with Bertie Combs, who was the governor at that time, and Ellen and Railroad. They acquired two train cars from Ellen and they gave them to us, and they renovated those two cars into uh, a demonstration car and a, um, an exhibit car. So they traveled the rails. Ellen and would pick those two cars up at the spur here and take them to different places in the state. Later on, uh, 1967, we had our first Yule Fairs here in, uh, at Indian Fort Theater. But in 2012, we purchased the building we're in today and we house two galleries. We house the People's Bank Gallery and the Rudy O'Salmic and Daphne Gallery. And upstairs, we do have the beginnings of our Kentucky Guild Academy. We start in April and we go through uh, November. We're just getting started, but we hope to, in the next two or three years, to have a full schedule. It's all about getting teachers. Probably my favorite thing is sharing it with other people and watching all of the different art demonstrations. I just love all of the different people that you meet uh, working in a place like this because most of the people that visit are like-minded individuals. They love art. They want to experience the art that we have to offer. And we've had people from all over the world in here. 